How powerful is our God? How wonderful is our God? How mighty is our God? Lord, you are mighty. Lord, you are great. Lord, you are powerful. Lord, you are massive. Lord, we cannot comprehend your greatness, O God. We glorify your name, our King. We lift your name on high, Father. We glorify you, Jehovah God, the ancient of days, God of all creation, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Who was, who is, and is to come. We glorify your name, O God, Father. We stand in awe of you, Lord God, tonight. We worship you, King of Kings. We worship you, the one who reigns in majesty, the one who reigns in glory, the one who reigns in power, the one who reigns in, in righteousness and holiness, God. We glorify your name this evening, God. Father, we thank you. We lift your name on high, oh God. Who is like you, oh God? Who can be compared to you, Lord God? Who can be likened unto you, most high God? Who can instruct you, O Lord, Father? You are great. My God, you are intelligent. Lord God, you are wise. You are the wise of the, the wisdom of all the wise, O Lord God. We glorify your name. Father, we worship you. Father, we lift your name on high. There is none like you, our God. Father, this evening we come before you. We just want to glorify you, Lord God. We just want to exalt you, Father God. We just want to tell you how great you are. We just want to tell you how majestic you are, oh God. We just want to tell you how awesome you are, Father. We just want to tell you how good you are, Lord God. We just want to tell you how great you are, mighty God. You are holy. You are righteous. You are mighty, Lord. You are loving, mighty God. We glorify your name. Father, there is none like you, Lord God. We look at your goodness, Lord God. We look at your mercies, Lord God, and we glorify you, Father. You have filled our lives with your goodness, Lord. You have filled our lives with your faithfulness, oh Lord God. You have filled our lives with your, with your loving kindness, oh Lord God. Father, this evening, Lord, what you are the reason, Lord God, of our living tonight, oh God, Father. It says, if the Lord was not on our side, our enemies would have swallowed us alive. Lord, we thank you for being on our side, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for watching over us, Lord. We thank you for fighting our battles, oh Lord. We thank you, Lord God, for delivering us, Lord God, my Father, from death, oh Lord. Thank you, Lord God, for delivering us, Lord God, from the banks of death, Lord God. And even when we went through the valley of the shadow of death, oh Lord God, Father, you delivered us, oh Lord God. You delivered us, almighty God. We want to glorify you this evening, Father. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise, almighty God. There is no one else like you our God you are good Lord you are good father you are good oh Lord you are good father you are so good you are so mighty you are so gracious Lord we give you praise Lord we honor you we praise you Lord God thank you Lord my father we love you God we love you we love you we love you there is no one else like you oh God almighty Father, we love you. Father, we love you. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise, Father. Be glorified, God. Be exalted, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father God. Tonight, we just want to go before the Lord. In the book of Psalms, chapter 14 and verse 2, verse 1 and 2. Psalms chapter 14 verse 1 and 2. It says the fool has said in his heart there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none who, go, who does good. And the Lord looks down from heaven upon the children of men. To see if there are any who understands who seek the Lord. 
The Lord looks down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there are any who understand, who seek God. That God is always looking down. Because the whole generation is rotten. They've done abominable things before God. And God is still looking down to see if there are people who have understanding. If there are people who have understanding and they're ready to seek God. If there are people who have understanding that they will seek for the mercy of God. If there are people who have understanding that will, they, will, they will plead with God. Tonight we want to go before God. And we want to pray for this generation. You know when the Israelites sinned. And God said, told Moses that I'm going to destroy them. And God told Moses I'm not going with them. I'm going to send the angel. But if they miss on their way, the angel is going to destroy them. And Moses intervened on behalf of the children of Israel. And he said, God have mercy on them. Tonight we want to go before the Lord. Because God, ha he says, ask me of the nations and I will give them unto you. We are asking God for the nations. The Lord, the nations will be delivered. The nations will be liberated from the hands of the devil. In the name of Jesus Christ, the minds of the people have been blinded. And they are called fools by the word of God. He said, the fools say in their hearts that there is no God. Because they, that, that, even a fool cannot say there is no God. Because if, even, if, 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 even a, 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 a mad person knows that there is God. But because of the blindness of the nations. Because of the blindness of mankind. Lord God, Father we come before you. And Lord the Bible says that God is looking down from heaven. To see if there are people who have understanding. That they may seek God. They may seek the mercy of God. They may seek the grace of God. They may seek the deliverance of God. The world is rotten. The generation is rotten. But God is looking for people who will stand in the gap. Who will, who will have the understanding of the times. Who have the understanding of seeking the face of God. Father, tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, we have come, oh God, in your presence. Lord, we are calling upon your name, oh God. We are standing in the gap for the nations, oh God. We are standing in the gap, Lord, for this generation, oh Lord. Because, Lord, they have gone away from you. They have done abominable things, oh Lord. My God, we are standing in the gap this evening, God. My Father, as the people who are called by your name, oh God, as you say in your word in Second Chronicles Father God, that Lord, when we seek your face, God, when we humble ourselves, and when we repent of our sins, and turn away from our wicked ways, and call upon your name, Lord God, that you will hear from heaven, and you will answer our prayers, God, and you will heal our land, oh God. We pray for the healing of the nations, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the nations are dying, the nations are sick, oh God. Father, we pray for the healing of of the nations God as we represent the nations father God we are standing Lord we are standing father God my, my father God in the midst oh Lord God between the nations and you father God Lord we are standing in the gap oh Lord we are praying for the deliverance of the nations father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ oh God we pray that righteousness will reign, oh God. We pray for the righteousness in the nations, oh Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray for your mercy, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord God. We pray, oh Lord, that because pride has swallowed your people. My father, arrogance has swallowed your people. So arrogance has swallowed even those in, in, in leadership, oh God. Those in authority, Lord God. And they say in their 
heart that there is no God. My Father, we are standing, oh God, in the gap for the nations, oh Lord. Father, we pray that you'll have mercy. Be merciful, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we are standing, oh God, as the ambassadors of Christ, oh God. Because Lord, the word says that your, all leaders are ordained by you, Lord God. That leadership comes from above, mighty God. And we are praying in the name of Jesus Christ for the leadership of the nations, oh God. For the leaders of the nations in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that God, there shall be righteousness. Righteousness shall rule the nations, God. Righteousness shall rule our nations in Jesus' name. Holiness will rule our nations in Jesus' name. My God, that people will call upon your name. Lord, we pray, oh God, that the leaders you give unto us, God, will lead your people unto you, Father God. We call, we will bring the people together as you, as it was the, the case of Moses, oh God, that you are telling him, gather them. I want to come and speak to them. I want to meet them. Father, we pray, oh God, for the leadership of mighty God, that we have that power to gather your people, oh God, that you may come and have a fellowship with them. Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that we will not that, that people will not walk in ignorance oh lord god saying there is no god because lord you will manifest yourself we pray for your great manifestation oh god in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray for great manifestation oh god in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray for godliness oh god in the mighty name of jesus christ in our generations oh lord father in the mighty name of jesus christ lord see has engulfed your people Lord sin has blinded your people abomination has blinded your people oh God they go after their own flesh they go after their own desires that have taken them away from God father we pray tonight Lord we are praying oh God for righteousness we are praying Lord God for your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Lord have mercy to our generation oh Lord have mercy to our generations in Jesus mind name Lord we pray that as we stand oh God before you mighty God we pray that you will stretch forth your delivering hand oh God that we will the nations will be delivered oh God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray for the restoration of our nations oh God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the nations that once called upon your name the nations that once trusted in you oh Lord God and at my father along the way father God they found themselves believing other things Lord we are praying in the name of Jesus Christ we pray for your grace the grace to restoration oh God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let righteousness reign, O oh God. Let righteousness reign on our nations, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we wait on you. Lord, we depend on you. Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord God, we pray for that thirst. Let us pray for the thirst and the hunger. Thirst and hunger for God. That people will not be settled with what they, with who you are, uh, for, for where they are. People will not be settled with the little knowledge they have, knowledge that they have about God. Let us pray that God will release that holy hunger. God will release that desire for people to seek him. See how people are comfortable in their homes. See how people have taken advantage of COVID. See how people have gotten comfortable. They don't feel, they don't, they, they're not even guilty. Even when they don't go, they don't gather to worship God. Others are very comfortable even when they don't, they wake up and do, do, they don't pray. They, 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 they go through the whole day and even in the evening they cannot pray they're very comfortable the devil has blinded them the devil has lied to them that they are comfortable that they, they need nothing we are praying oh God in the name of Jesus Christ Father we pray for the, the task of you Lord God that 
Lord God, you release your hunger, the hunger for you, oh God, the thirst for you, oh Lord God, that we shall seek you, Lord God, with all our might, with all that we are, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that you are the only one who will matter, oh Lord God, in our lives. The devil has lied to people that they don't need God to live. That they don't need to call upon the Lord to live. The devil has given people an alternative. He has given people a plan B to live. But tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, we are praying that God will open the eyes of his people. That they will know that it's only God who gives them life. It's only God who can enable them to live. That they will seek God with all their hearts. That they will seek God with all their minds. That they will seek God with all their strength. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those who are in their slumber, we are praying for the Spirit of God to awaken them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because these are the days that we need to be vigilant. But the devil has blinded the people. We are praying in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for the freedom of the of God's people in Jesus' name. We pray for the liberation of God's people in Jesus' name. Those that the devil has put in bondage, we are setting them free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That they will be ready they will be free to go and worship God Pharaoh tried this and when Moses God sent Moses to go and tell Pharaoh that he was God wants Pharaoh to release the children of Israel so that they can go and worship him Pharaoh tried to be to tried not to release them and he said you can go worship your God and come back because he thought that he was holding them captive. He thought that he had power over them. But God Almighty who has power over everything. That God delivered them. We are praying in the name of Jesus Christ. That this, that this, 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 this comfort that the devil gives unto, unto God's people. He says you don't, have to, you don't have to be going to church every day. You don't have to be praying every day. God knows what you need. Tonight we are praying in the name of Jesus Christ. That God will liberate his people in Jesus name. That people's eyes will be opened in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That they will know the truth and the truth will set them free in the name of Jesus Christ he says you can just go and come back we are praying in Jesus name that God will deliver his people the people will be delivered and they will seek God with all their hearts in Jesus name we refuse Lord God to stay in our comfort zones we refuse to be comfortable Lord God because we know that what gives us comfort Lord. the only thing the only one who gives us comfort is you lord god and as we seek you lord god you'll comfort us and as we seek you lord god you will settle us in the mighty name of jesus christ father we thank you we exalt your name oh god oh hallelujah Hallelujah, Lord, we love you. Hallelujah, Lord, we love you, Lord God, Father. Habakkuk chapter one, chapter 2, from verse 1. Habakkuk chapter 2, from verse 1. It says, I will stand my watch and set myself on the rampart and watch to see what he will say to me and what I will answer when I'm corrected. Then the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain on tables that he may run who reads it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Write the vision and make it plain on tables that he may run. Whoever reads this vision may run may run with it whoever reads the vision let this person that reads the vision run with the vision have that understanding and run with the vision not to sit on the vision 
Not to neglect the vision. Not to trust the vision. But to run with the vision. What vision has God given unto us this year? The vision that God has given unto us this year. The vision that God has revealed unto you. Because he gives us a vision. And he said write it on the table. Write it on the, on the, somewhere. So that it can be able to be read. God has been giving us visions. But sometimes we don't understand the visions. We think that we are just, those are just imaginations. God has revealed unto us so many things in vision. But we did not write them down. So that we can make them plain. So wherever, whoever reads them can run with it. Father God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are praying tonight. Let us pray. That our eyes to our visions will be opened. That when we see this vision, we will understand that this is a vision. And we will be able to write the vision. The vision, we will be able to put the vision into writing. That people will see the vision and run with it. People will see the vision and work, and, and work towards the accomplishment of the vision. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that our eyes, the eyes to our visions will be enlightened. That we will see the vision that you communicate to us, Lord God. And Father, as we see the visions, Lord God, we will be able to interpret it, oh Lord God, into the writing in Jesus' name. Do you know that people see vision and they lack interpretation? So they cannot write it because they have, they lack interpretation. We are praying, Lord God, that for the Lord Spirit. That your spirit will help us to interpret the vision. As we write the vision, we will write with understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The vision, Lord God, that you have for your people. My God, as you open our eyes. As you communicate it to us, mighty God. Lord, that we shall know the vision. We shall understand the vision. We will not be confused along the way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That we that say, let it be. Make it plain. Let everyone understand it. Go, we pray for the spirit of understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray for understanding God. And every prophecy, Lord God, every prophecy that you have spoken, Lord God, every prophecy that has come forth, oh Lord God, you said this is the season, God, that you have to accomplish it, Father. Lord God, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord, let it be accomplished in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let it be accomplished in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every prophecy, every spoken word of God that was sent forth to us and it has not come to pass. It says, no matter how long it's going to take, it must surely come to pass. And Lord, we are praying, God, that there will be no delay in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray that every word that God has spoken to us, that let, it, let that appointed time come. Let that appointed time, time be, 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 be expedited. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it come speedily in the name of Jesus Christ. That appointed time, that vision that has uh, for appointed time, that prophecy, the fulfillment of the spoken word of God. Let it come to pass into our lives in Jesus' name. Lord, we are praying in Jesus' name. The Lord lets it come to pass. Let it come to pass, God. Let it come to pass because you're not a liar. You're not a son of man that you should lie. You are God and you are faithful. Always faithful. Always faithful. Always faithful. Always faithful, oh God. Daddy, we love you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let us pray for the courage to trust in God. Let us pray for patience to wait upon God. Let us pray that God will give us that strength to continue waiting upon him. Even when things seem to be delayed, we know that God's timing is the best. Habakkuk, Habakkuk said that even though the fig tree will not blossom, 
and there are no fruits and there are no yields in the in the barns but yet i will trust in the lord i will rejoice in the lord i will rejoice in the lord because he's the god of times and season he's a god of all times he's the god who brings everything to pass he's a god who causes the, the, the he is the god who causes the fig tree to blossom you we, we can we cannot do you cannot do anything to the fig tree if, if he has refused to, to blossom you cannot do anything to the, to, to the to the kettles due to the to the to the, to the kettle when they have refused to increase his god's timing we pray in the name of jesus christ the lord we will have that patience oh god waiting upon you mighty god because it's because of losing our patience that our blessings are by we, we have we have aborted our blessings it's because we have not been patiently waiting upon you lord God, that we uh, we miscarried our blessings, Lord God. Father, this evening in Jesus' name, we are praying, oh God, Father, we are praying, Lord God, for the wisdom to wait and know the value of the blessing and know the value of the blessing, Lord God, that you are bringing our way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we will rejoice. We will rejoice in your goodness. We will rejoice in your faithfulness, oh God. Because Lord, you have never failed. You have never failed. You have never failed. And you will never fail. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we glorify you. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise, Lord God. There is none like you, Lord God Almighty. Joel chapter 2, verse 18. Joel chapter 2, verse 18. It says, Then the Lord will be zealous for his land. And pity his people. The Lord will answer and say to his people, Behold, I will send you grain and new wine and oil, and you will be satisfied by them. I will no longer make you a reproach among nations, but I will remove far from you the north um, northern army. I will drive him away unto barren and desolate land with his face towards the eastern sea and his back towards the western sea. His tent will come up and his foul odor will rise because he has done monstrous things. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord has done marvelous things. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That the Lord will be zealous for his people. The Lord will be zealous for, his, for the land. The Lord will have pity upon his people. That the Lord will answer his people. The Lord will say, I will give you grain. I will give grain and new wine and oil. Lord, we are praying in the name of Jesus. Let us pray that God, we shall receive this new grain. We shall shall receive this new wine the newness of the spirit of god the newness of the oil of god the newness of the anointing of god in the mighty name of jesus christ that we will not operate in the old anointing we will not operate in the old oil we want to operate in the newness of the spirit of god we want to operate in the newness of the oil of god we want to operate in the anointing of god in the name of jesus christ the anointing that will break the yoke the anointing that will break every bondage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and he said that I will no longer make you a reproach among the nation because when the anointing the new anointing comes the fresh anointing comes it breaks every bondage it breaks every reproach it breaks every 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 every, 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 every
every disgrace in the name of Jesus Christ. And we are praying for a new anointing. We are praying for a fresh anointing. We are praying for fresh oil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the anointing rest upon us. Let the anointing rest upon us that will break every reproach, that will terminate every reproach in the name of Jesus Christ, that will terminate every disgrace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that we shall walk in the, in the, in the, in the wisdom. We shall walk in the victory of God because he has done it. He is zealous for his people. Lord God, we pray that you will be zealous, oh Lord God. Be zealous unto us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, I will no longer make you a reproach among nations, but I will remove far from you the northern army. I will dry him away into barren and desolate land with his face toward the eastern side. That when the, when, when the new wine, when the new oil comes upon us, when the new anointing rests upon us, that God is going to drive our enemy. God is going to make our enemy ashamed. That the enemy will not look in, in our face, but he's going to turn their face away because, for, because of, 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 of shame in the name of Jesus Christ that God is going to shameify our enemies. God is going to shame our enemies in Jesus name. Those who those who, who, who put us under reproach. We are praying in the name of Jesus Christ that God because of the anointing the anointing that breaks every bondage the anointing that breaks every yoke is going to set us free in the name of Jesus Christ. He's setting God's people free in Jesus name. He's setting us free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and the anointing God. Let us carry the anointing the anointing that that, that that no power can resist in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we pray for the grace of God, the anointing upon us, fresh anointing, new oil, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord God, let's call upon the Lord, Lord Father let us just call for, for, for the fresh oil, that God will release fresh oil that God will pour fresh oil upon us in the name of Jesus Christ the oil that won't run dry in Jesus name, the anointing that we receive from God, the anointing that distinguishes us, the anointing that sets us apart in the name of Jesus Christ Lord God, the anointing that cannot be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, that the anointing Father God will set us apart. The anointing that will consecrate us, oh God, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The anointing, Lord God, that is going to make us supernatural, operate in the supernatural, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The anointing, Lord God, that is going to cause us to operate like the wind. The Bible says that the people who believe in God, the people of God, God are like wind. When you look at them, you don't know where they're coming from and where they're going. Let us that pray that that anointing, the anointing that will take us into the realm that no, no carnal mind will understand, that no carnal eye will understand. The anointing, the anointing that takes us from our ordinariness, oh Lord God, to the supernatural in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The anointing that will break every limitation in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God. My God, we pray. That we will be released from all the limitations of God. But it's only the anointing that will break it in Jesus name. Father, we pray for that anointing. We pray for that, that anointing tonight, God. We pray for that anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. That we will break forth, oh God. We will break forth in the name of Jesus Christ. We will break forth in the mighty name of Jesus. And tonight we are breaking forth. Tonight we are breaking forth, oh God. Every limit, Lord God, we are coming out of it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every barrier, Lord God. Because, but for the reason of the anointing, God.
We are coming out of it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No limitation, no barriers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare the glory of God. We declare the anointing of God upon us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we are praying. Let's pray. Let us pray that God will break every limitation of those people who are watching who are connected in jesus name in every area of their lives lord god we pray in jesus name because lord they are connected because lord they have seen the need of god my father to be connected i'm praying oh lord god for their life whatever area of their life that they have been limited oh lord god father i pray almighty god that they will overcome the limitations in jesus name whatever has limited them oh God, by that reason of the anointing tonight, God, we declare the freedom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare the breaking forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those that have been limited by the night, oh God, we declare the day, oh God, we declare the morning, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those that have been weeping in the night, and the night has prolonged, oh God, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we break that barrier in the mighty mighty name of Jesus Christ and we declare Lord God the breaking forth of that day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the breaking forth of that morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that morning your morning has come in the name of Jesus Christ whatever night you have gone through whatever night season you have gone through tonight I declare your breaking forth of your day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we declare the breaking forth of your day in the mighty name of Jesus Jesus Christ, that you will experience joy, the joy that comes in the morning. Daddy, we thank you. We thank you for the joy, Lord God. We thank you for this joy that is breaking forth with our morning, God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we love you. Thank you because, God, your will or go for us is that we may be free we may be free and free indeed and lord this evening god i declare your freedom god upon your people in the mighty name of jesus christ no limitation lord no more boundaries in jesus name we declare your glory we declare your glory in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ let our morning break forth in the mighty name of jesus lord we thank you Lord, we praise your name. Father, we just want to thank you. Just lift your voice and thank God. Just lift your voice and thank God for the anointing that has broken every limit, that has broken every barrier, that has, set, has taken us to a new realm, a new realm, a new realm of unlimited blessings, unlimited, unlimitedness all from all sides in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not limited in Jesus name i'm unlimited 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 in the name of jesus christ thank you lord god for your blood thank you lord jesus for your blood that has set us free lord we thank you lord we thank you lord we thank you lord we thank you thank you father god Thank you, Lord, for taking us beyond the limits, oh God. And we thank you because, God, limits will not rule over our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be thy name, God. Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Father God, for raising us, oh God, on eagles' wings this evening. That no amount of wind will, 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 will bar us, Lord God, from flying in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be thy name. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory. Be exalted, O oh God. We worship you, Lord. We love you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. How great is our God, sing with me, how great is our God, and 
how we sing, how great, how great is our God, how great is our God, oh, sing with me, how great is our God. Sing how great, how great is our God. You are the name above all names. You are worthy of our praise. sing how great is our God name above all names you are worthy of Father Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. Just appreciate God tonight. Thank Him for strength. Thank Him for strength for bringing us even to this 17th day of this prayer and fasting. Let's thank God for strength. Let's thank God for focus. Let's ask, ask God for desperation. Let's ask God for tasks. Let's ask God for filling us with the fullness of Him. For filling us with the fullness of Him. He said, Lo, everyone that tasteth, let him come and drink. Lord, and drink without buying, without paying money. Freely have you given. Freely have we received it, Lord. Thank you for the grace. They go from strength to strength. As many that appear before you. Each time we seek you, you strengthen us. Each time we, we seek your face, Lord, you empower us. Thank you for strength. Thank you for strength. Thank you for strength. There is none like you. Yes, Lord. You are my strength. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Reaches to me. Yes, Lord. Thank you for strength. We give you praise. We give you all the glory, Lord. Blessed be your name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In this section, in the next 15 minutes, you are going to pray. This is about personal supplication. You're going to pray because the Lord wants to hear you. The Lord wants to answer you. The Lord said, call unto me and I will answer and I will show you great and mighty things that thou knowest not i want you to pray like jabez prayed i want you to pray like jacob prayed like your life depends on it like your destiny depends on it like your future depends on it i want you to pray this first prayer lord by your power connect me with my destiny helpers lord by your power
Connect me with the de- experts of my destiny. People that will help me to take me from where I am to where you have in mind for me. Lord, bring my Rebecca to me. Bring my, my, my Peter and John to me. Peter and Mark, Lord. Bring them to me. Lord, that will take me and will help me and take me to that place you have in plan for me. Lord, bring my butler. Bring my baker that will mention my name in the right place. Lord, connect me with my destiny helper. Connect me with my destiny helper. Open your mouth and begin to cry. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Ask God to release the power that will connect you. The power of connection. The power of connection. God, you said, iron sharpened iron. You did not create us to be in isolation. You, you made them... You made them male and female. You made them male and female. Lord, we are made to to interrelate and interdepend on one another. That person that will be my destiny helper before the end of this month, connect me with such in the name of Jesus. Lord, I will my destiny helper will not die until he has fulfilled his purpose in my life. My destiny helper will not die. Bring me to connection to that destiny helper. Ma son torobo zundarama. Ma le son torobo zundarama. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Ask God to work things out in your favor. Even as you partake in this prayer and fasting. Let favor begins to encompass you like a shield. Lord, in this session of prayer, you remember Esther. Esther called for prayer and fasting before she went to meet with the king. And when she got to the king, the king favored her. There's a place that God wants to send you to. There's a office you are going to. There's a position that God is relocating you to. There's a repositioning that is waiting for you. But you what you only need is favor. Ask God for favor. Ask God for favor. You said in your word in Psalm 30, verse 5, he said, in his favor there is life. His anger endured but for a moment. In his favor there is life. He said, Weeping may endure for a moment, but joy comes in the morning. Lord, we pray, we pray that Lord, let your favor terminate weeping in our life. Let your favor terminate fruitless labor in our life. Lord, let favor open doors. Let favors open doors. Let favor bring us before King in the name of Jesus. Let the favor of God bring us before captains and ships of industries in the name of Jesus oh yes Lord in the name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name we pray in the book of Job chapter 5 verse 12 he says he disappoints the devices of the crafty that their hand is not able to perform their enterprise. I want you to pray every agenda of the wicked to bring this disgrace to my life. Lord, I cancel in the name of Jesus. Every agenda of the wicked to cause disgrace, to bring disgrace to my life, to my children, to my job, to my ministry, I cancel in the name of Jesus. Lord, you say you will restore all the years that the canker woman and the papa woman are to eat him and my people shall not be ashamed law grace shall terminate every disgrace in my life in the name of jesus the exceeding grace of god shall terminate disgrace every agenda of the wicked to bring me to the point of shame to bring me to the point of reproach law you shall terminate it as you begin to lead me to grace and to virtue to glory in the name of jesus you have called me to glory
glory, not to shame in the name of Jesus. Every issue of disgrace, every issue of reproach, every issue of mockery around my life, I terminate it with every agenda of the wicked. I cancel in the name of Jesus. I convert every source to my promotion. I convert every source to my to 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 my good in the name of Jesus. Every agenda that is contrary to your will, to your plan for my life, I cancel in the name of Jesus. You said surely they will gather, but not by you. And every gathering. The wisdom of Amen was to bring down Mordecai. But because of the favor of God, the plan of Amen came back upon him. Every gallow, every pit that the enemy is digging against you, every gallow that the enemy is putting together against your life, Lord, they will step into it themselves in the name of Jesus. They will step into it in the name of Jesus. As this year is running to a hand, you will not weep over any of your children. You will not weep over any of your loved ones in the name of Jesus. No. We cancel every dated affliction. We cancel every dated affliction against any one member of your family. Every appointment with death is canceled in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, Every barrier between me and the fulfillment of my glorious destiny is removed now in the name of Jesus. I am breaking every limit, every limitation to the fulfillment of my glorious destiny. Every barrier in the name of Jesus. Every chain that the enemy has used to tie me down. Every prison that they have kept me. I release myself. I break. I remove. I cancel. I recover. Every agenda from the enemy in the name of Jesus. Every barrier against my glorious destiny. I cancel in the name of Jesus. I cancel in the name of Jesus. The prison could not stop Joseph. The prison could not stop Peter. The prison could not stop Paul. Law, no prison of the enemy. No barrier of the enemy that should be able to stop me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you everlasting Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus mighty name. Father in the name of Jesus. Every door that the wicked one have blocked against me. I flung it open in the name of Jesus. For you said in Revelation chapter 3 verse 8. That I kept before you an open door. And no man shall be able to shut it. Lord I decree every door that the enemy wants to close. Doors of favor. Doors of breakthrough. Doors of success. Doors of my santo robos. Doors of marriage. Doors of promotion. That the enemy is trying to close. Lord I flung it open. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. In 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 9. He said a great and effectual door is open. But there are great adversary. Lord every adversary. To my open door. Begins to bow down. Begins to disappear. In the name of Jesus. And a great and effectual door. Is open before me. And there are great adversary. Every adversary. To my open door. I cancel. I cancel. They will not stand. In the name name of Jesus. I resist you with the blood of Jesus. I resist you in the power of the Holy Ghost. I resist you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed 
And finally, Father, in the name of Jesus, I shut the door against every evil occurrences against me and my children. I shut the door against every evil occurrences against me and my family, against me and my loved one, against me and every covenant family in the name of Jesus. No evil occurrence, no evil news, no evil news. I cancel every dis disappointment. I cancel every dated affliction in the name of Jesus. I cancel every road mishap, every accident, every blood sucking demons in the name of Jesus. They will not find their way into my home. They will not find their way into my business in the name of Jesus. I secure my life. I secure my family by the blood of Jesus. When the angels of death will find its way, it will not find their way into my home in the name of of Jesus oh yes Lord we thank you we give you praise oh why don't you wave your hand to God and just begin to thank God now right now for answers prayers begin to appreciate God for answers prayers he's had you he's had you he's had you and he's answering you in the name of Jesus our God is not a prayer storing God is a prayer answering God just thank him he said we should come with to him with with thanksgiving with supplication and thanksgiving yes Lord give him thanks give him praise there is no like you we give you all the glory for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed Everlasting Father, we thank you tonight. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord, for the grace to stand in your presence to seek your face. Thank you for your presence in the house. And thank you for all that are connected right now and all that will be listening to this uh, service even in future. That, Lord, your mighty hand will touch them and will bring them victory in every area of their life. The favor of God will encompass them like a shield. Doors of greatness and opportunity will open before them. And we close every door of evil occurrences in the name of Jesus. Receive all the praise. Receive all the glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And so surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. See you tomorrow, 10 a.m. for the Sunday Bible study. And 11 a.m. for the anointing worship service. As we continue on our message series, Destiny Encounter Service. Destiny Encounter Service. God bless you in Jesus' name.